on this episode of Lapeef Let's Talk. They talk. Yo, we're, have we're, we're not we're airing. And, and you better talking stop talking telling me what y'all are getting talking real talking money out here. Type of women. I'm talking about a specific type of woman who who's insecure who and don't study enough to have real conversations. And sure. she's so guarded. That she don't want to right. open up and really talk about anything. At the end, of, that's the type of woman that I'm talking about. So, bro, if, I mean, and so you're talking, so you're talking about a, a specific type, like that. That there is, there is, because there's so many different people out here, right? So there is a sector of women that are are that are that way. But when it comes to dating, for me, I feel like. I agree with y'all in terms of like, oh, people doing things that they don't do. I hate when girls do that in terms of like, oh, I want him to take me here somewhere you've never been. You don't even know. I just think that's weird. I think the, the natural flow of dating is to invite someone to do something that you do anyway. Transaction. I agree. Yeah, no, I agree with you. I was just clarifying the video. But for me, it's it's a it's not even a fine line. If I'm if you're willing to pay for me just to hang out with you or go to dinner and nothing sexual, then I I'm pretty sure if the money is right, you, it's going to escalate. So even the idea of you paying for a service, you're at paying to be around me. It's always it's always going to be a price tag on you right now. You got a price tag. Well, my services for you to relax and hang out with me is this. Oh, it is. But what if I double it? Then can I play with your toes? What if I triple it? Can I put my finger? It's a price tag. You're putting a price tag on yes, yourself, sir. and that's what prostitution is. Not not doing algebra with exponents. No, <laughs> <laughs> that's what it is. It's an escalation of if you're willing to spend fifty dollars for me to rub on my feet, I, then a hundred dollars you can rub on my butt. Yeah, that's weird. And, and to me, it's, it's the, not uh, weird. It's normal. It's normal. normal. What are you talking about? We, we've heard it multiple times, even on Clubhouse. Women, you got a man got to spend this amount of money to get time right. with me. Women have y'all's roster of men for food, for clubbing, for dates, for hookups. That is the norm for some of y'all women. Right. If y'all like and rosters, y'all like the man. This man is right. this. This man is and that. The man is yeah, on Saturday. He's taking a concert. <laughs> The simple fact that it's the double standard that we understand and expect. That's why I said before in the in the last video, right? Don't be messing with and dating no dude having them take you out that you ain't got no intentions with. Wasting his time. Saying? But right? you know, people like no, no, they got intentions. Come on, Rick. No, they're you know, using him. They got intentions. The majority of them is, is using him just to get the right. meal. I'm talking about no. as far as because we under like I don't know why women try to play like that's not part of the game it's the game you taking a woman out to show your intention towards her that's the whole point i'm not coming to just spend out money on you because i got it don't nobody do that but you, what, what, what you hit on though ricky the beautiful thing that you hit on though is i think it completely went over everybody's head if i'm out here because basically what you're doing is that you're you're having this transactional experience without anybody openly admitting that that's exactly what's happening. And so a lot of guys say, hey, why don't we just bypass the bullshit and I just give you the money and get what I need out of you? Because why sit here and play games why when we don't know playing? what the expectation is? Mm -hmm. That's what guys are saying. That's a fact, because remember that guy that said on your late lives? Because he was like, why not just pay her so she knows what it is, and she can shut her mouth, and I don't have to deal with that. And she, it's a transaction, quick in yep. and out, boom, 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 yep. cash app. That is so, and, and it's crazy yeah. because you, you'll literally get women to say like, when you do come in that direction, like, all right, listen, I know what you really want. You really looking for for the money, but you, but you don't want to feel like a hoe. You don't want to feel like a prostitute. So you want, you want the little wine, and so you can justify it in your mind yep. that. Uh, you know what? I allow him to take me out and then I got the money. Like the takeout, you ain't you you could have cut that thing short. You really didn't want to do that. You only did that so you don't you can justify it and make excuses in your mind. Come why on, you, I, I, why I, you come on, Ali, Ali. Let's be real. That whole right. one gonna be sitting on the mattress, bro. Exactly. So you know, you know, you don't deserve to be sitting at that high end restaurant. You know. In a, in a, going home and she gonna sleep on that air mattress, bro. And the case in point is this, right? Is again, on, 
in general, in Nothing general, major. right? It's, it, it's just funny how the bigger the bag gets, the more cooperative that woman is. Oh, way more cooperative. And he could be butt ass ugly. Too. But you know, and, 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 <laughs> and, 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 and I don't even want to. I like, I, and the and the funny part is it, to me. I mean, the the more you, the more outlandish the the date is, like high end restaurant it is. To me, those been the my boring dates. The best dates that I really had was the little, the less money that I spent, and we wow. had man, fun. Mm-hmm. I'm gonna be perfectly honest with you, like, but you see, you know what, Ali? Those are the dates. Right? Ali was taking people to Waffle House. That's what he was doing. No, I, I, even lie, I do love Waffle House. I do love Waffle House. I ain't going to Waffle House. I think that's a cute date. If like, you really want to take it with a chick and you want to see what her life is about, take her to the coffee shop. No, I'm just saying because Ali and his kids and his bags today. Yeah, I don't want to go to my fucking coffee shop. And then that's the one you know that's not for you because that's the one you know is using you for your resources and for clout. And then this is what they're going to do on the date. They're going to wait till you go to the bathroom and then they're going to do like this. And and you know the funny Anton. You know the funny they're going to take a picture of the food. That you, hold on, Ali. They're going to take a picture of the food that you fucking paying for. That's right. right? Man, listen. Take that hoe on something that ain't going to cost nothing and see how she acts. And, so and you know, if she got her ducks in a row and she act like she got some sense, then it may be worth your time to include her in something that you was going to do anyway, right. instead of taking her to do something that she want to do so she can clout chase on the gram and take pictures of food like she fucking paying for it and she not. And, and, you know, chick and let her nose get turned up and stop being afraid to tell these hoes no, man. And so you I, listen, so and listen in two, two seconds, I just want to say, and the funny thing is, is you can always tell, you can always tell the difference, right? A lot of times when they don't really got no money, they be looking to go out on those expensive dates. But when the woman who got the money, a lot of times they beat you to the punch. Meet me at Starbucks. Let's meet up at Starbucks. Let's want to and have a conversation. And and you be like, oh, all right. Like y'all y'all in the same y'all got the same mindset. Sometimes I'm like, yo, listen, we both homeowners. I'm about to ho- go to Home Depot real quick. And we just have that comp. Some people, a lot of them are so. It, I don't want to use this term, but I'm gonna use this term. A lot of a lot of these sisters these days don't become so much of an airhead. They they don't even know how to have a real conversation. They mm-hmm. talk. Yo, you wanna have we're, we're not airheads. And, 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 and you better stop I'm telling me chicks what you're saying. Listen, I ain't getting real money out here. Type of women. I'm talking about a specific type of woman who who's insecure who and don't study enough to have real conversations and sure. she's so guarded that she don't want right. to open up and really talk about anything at the end of, that's the type of woman that i'm talking about so no. if, I mean, no. and so you're talking so you're talking about a, a specific type like that, that there is there is because there's so many different people out here right so there is a sector of women that are are that are that way but when it comes to dating for me i feel like I agree with y'all in terms of like, oh, people doing things that they don't do. I hate when girls do that in terms of like, oh, I want him to take me here somewhere you never been. You don't even know. I just think that's weird. I think the the natural flow of dating is to invite someone to do something that you do anyway. 